For Tuesday's workout, we're going to be doing a series of AMRAPs or as many rounds as possible of two movements. Each AMRAP we do though is going to decrease in time. So our first ones, the longest ones, going to be six minutes. Then we're doing five minutes, then four minutes and finishing off with a short three minute burst. And we're going to take three minutes rest after each of them. Okay, so we've got two movements. The first movement is going to be an alternating step up onto any surface or box that you have or a box jump if we have something that we can jump up onto. So for the first round, it's going to be 16 of those. So 16 alternating step ups or 16 box jumps. And then we're going to do a shoulder to overhead with a weight. If we have a barbell, it's simple, 16 push press or push jerk with our barbell. If we have a single like implement, like a dumbbell or a kettlebell, we're going to divide that up into eight each arm. So the first round is a six minute arm wrap of 16 box jumps or step ups and 16 shoulder to overhead and that's eight each arm if we have a single implement. We then take three minutes rest before doing our five minute arm wrap same two movements with the reps come down this time we're doing 14 of each and that means seven each arm on the dumbbell or kettlebell three minutes rest four minute arm wrap 12 of each six each arm three minutes rest three minute arm wrap 10 of each five each arm so the idea of descending reps here is that we can pretty much keep a similar cadence and rhythm the whole way through and not have to slow down too much and not get too fatigued on one movement so that it slows us down we want to keep a nice steady pace what i might do here would be to use the step ups or box jumps and a, as a little bit of recovery from that kind of intense shoulder to overhead and uh, the weight is quite light the barbell if we have one of those is 40 for the men 30 for the girls so we're looking to keep moving hopefully all kind of unbroken sets or maybe a short break halfway through but other than that we're looking to get as much work done in each AMRAP as we can if we don't have any equipment at home we need to pick maybe two items i would say a good one for this one would be two water bottles two heavy items we can have in each hand that we can go overhead with for those shoulder to overhead and any surface at all that we can step up onto and back down like a chair or whatever just we're going to keep moving for the six, five, four, and three minute average.